Well, go figure. We're talking about uh, potential Calgary Flame trades. Oh, right. Really, really oh, okay. new for for the show and really uh, for our discussions on on Mondays. So uh, I guess I mean the latest uh, the report coming from the weekend that New Jersey would love to have a guy like Jacob Markstrom. The question is, to what degree are they serious? How serious are the Flames serious and all of that? So it's not breaking news, but it's admission that the devils are pursuing are in, in, in the market for sure. And at least at the very least, the Calgary flames, they're not rebuffing any trade talk or uh, nor, discussion. And nor should they, to yeah. be fair. I mean, I, I think the position the flames are in right now, Craig Conroy has the obligation to consider anything that comes across his desk, no matter how sort of wacky it might be. And I wouldn't consider the Markstrom part of it to be wacky at all. But, you know, if someone comes calling for one of your forwards that has term or a defenseman that has term, there's not many of them, but you'd have to explore if it's a legitimate, serious offer. And I think there's just a lot of hoops to jump through on the Markstrom front. Like, would he be, would he entertain New Jersey? I think the answer to that is yes. What are the, what are the flames getting in return? One, and and two, what kind of hoops do they need to jump through cap wise and retained wise in order to make it happen? And then at some point, are you just, you know, is it worth the squeeze is really the question that I think the Flames have come back to, which is, man, this guy is playing really well. He could potentially be a mentor to our Dustin Wolf. And we don't necessarily have to do anything right now. It's also tough to figure out what this guy'd be worth. Like you, you've noted it. It's it's not hard. a lot of guys that move in season. Certainly not a lot of goalies with term. There's not a lot of high end goalies that move. Period. Because as Boom always points out, you're probably in a good playoff spot if your goalie's plant lights out. Like Ryan Miller deal was ages ago. The Schneider one was an off season deal that netted Horvat, but that's at the draft floor when New Jersey's hosting. That's a weird set of circumstances. I don't even know what a guy'd be worth. I mean, good luck trying to get what you believe is fair value in return for the guy that you're giving up. Yeah. It's almost impossible to do because then most teams just go, and I'm sure New Jersey's probably thinking this way in the back of their mind. We desperately crave and need stability at this position, but we could just wait until the summer and we'll have our pick of 35 different goalies that are going to be available then. They've kind of been there, though, have they not? Uh, Vanacek was kind of that guy. They've had the option to go to market every summer. When's the last time they've been content in net, I guess? Out, uh, post Brodeur, obviously. Yeah, I'd say they haven't, really. Yeah. I mean, they, they were pretty happy with Blackwood for a while, and injuries crept up on him, and was his bad. confidence was shot in addition to his heel, and he just couldn't string it together. And now he's in San Jose, and you're running with Vanacek and Schmid and Nico Dawes on occasion. Like it, it's not working, but I don't know about you guys. At some point when you consider all of the holes that the devils have to plug this year, Jack Hughes back and playing well, great. But if you're talking about adding three to four pieces at the deadline, at some point you just go, well, maybe we, this just isn't our year. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.